Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Without justice being freely fully and impartially administered, neither our persons, nor our rights, nor our property, can be protected. And if these, or either of them, are regulated by no certain laws, and are subject to no certain principles, and are held by no certain tenure, and are redressed, when violated, by no certain remedies, society fails of all its value. And men may as well return to a state of savage and barbarous independence. Joseph's Story We are faced with extreme tyranny, based on a totalitarian model, and one that promises justice where none exists. This should have been realized at the so-called beginning of this kingdom, but alas, the people were once again fooled, as is the common theme of mankind throughout time. As the king gains more and more power, which is the natural state of all king, the people become more enslaved, until societies eventually fail. When this happens, a dictatorship may be the result, but more often than not, the lowly masses, and the surviving ruling class, attempt to solve the despotism responsible for the failure, by building a new dominant governing system, where a new ruling class is given power. Nothing could be more asinine. What this amounts to, is attempting to solve the problem of rule by more rule. It matters not if the new rule is expected to do better than the last, as that has never happened in history, but that the many think that seeking redress from those who caused and administered the tyranny, is viable and legitimate. This is an impossibility, of course, but has been clung to perpetually, all without any function of logic, reason, common sense, or use of intellectual brain stimulation. These same idiotic attitudes are extremely active today. As so many believe that by picking new masters, accepting new politicians, voting for different overlords, seeking redress for grievances from the king and kingdom courts, or begging the king to cure itself, is an answer to anything other than more brutal rule and tyranny. Only fools, seekers of power, or manipulators, pursue such a path of idiocy. But that is exactly the tactic being sought today, as the mainstream of society has not changed its position or opinions about the state in eons, and likely, obviously, never will. This is known by all who desire to gain power over others, regardless of their claims to be men of liberty, simply attempting to make the criminal state better, when in fact, the opposite is the case. One cannot gain freedom by seeking it in the arms of the king, any kingdom. All those who claim to want to make things better by putting new rulers in place, or seeking rule themselves, are either duped ignoramuses, or outright liars. This is without question, as asking permission from the king at any level to do things that free people have a right to do, is as mindless and pathetic an undertaking as can be imagined. This could never be more evident than during these pitiful and absurd election cycles, where all news of importance is sacrificed for the stupidity of picking a new master, or as many have been brainwashed to believe, a new leader. The useless term leader in every aspect of sanity is self-defeating, because if one seeks a leader, he is admitting to being only a follower, which is the first step to evil unintelligible collectivism and slavery. No individual seeking real freedom could participate in such nonsensical and preposterous imbecility, but then has not that always been the way of this country and many others. This could only happen if the masses of populations are so dumbed down and indoctrinated as to be beyond the ability to reason, and instead, voluntarily accept their lot in life as allowed by their chosen masters. This has been the case for thousands of years, and yet, the bulk of humanity has never figured out the grand plot of the ruling classes, which has actually brought about their own serfdom, at the hands of the worst of mankind. Even now, as war in the Middle East, total economic devastation at the hands of this criminal, destruction of supply lines for food and energy, 
planned takeover of all with central bank digital fiat currencies, massive monetary inflation causing a doubling or tripling of prices, worldwide famine, all-consuming surveillance, censorship, monitoring of all activity of every individual, and on, and on, and on. Even with all this, most are searching for a new rule to fix the problems that only rulers and a complicit society could cause. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Those in the king's court and those freedom pretenders continue to seek to cure the ills of the kingdom and rule by promoting different and more rule. Many of them seek rule themselves, promising to make things better this time around. They promise to bring legislation, more laws, that depends on corrupt king and crooked kingdom courts to uphold, even in the light of the evil perpetrated by these criminal bureaucracies over centuries and beyond. They seek redress from these very felons who have destroyed mankind and brought about all the tyranny, with the maniacal expectation that the king will police itself and curtail its wicked power-seeking insanity. They pretend to seek fairness by setting up investigations of the kingdom by the kingdom, a ludicrous notion to be sure. In the midst of all these lies, brutal war continues, economic collapse looms closer by each day that passes, and human suffering and annihilation are evident worldwide. All this while the power seekers of all stripes continue to promote the electing of more lying politicians, the continuation of criminal and murderous kingdoms, the elimination of freedom at every level, which is almost complete at this point in time, and they beg for your acceptance by expecting you to once again place them in power, promising a change this time. Every election brings about a worse outcome, regardless of who is selected to run your lives this time, and the next, of course, as this is what should be referred to as the circular order of totalitarian control and rule over all peoples. This has never changed, and can only change for the better when all elections are All politicians are scorned and held in contempt, and the king is reduced to total imp so long as you contribute to the existence of power, to a master-slave relationship, to rule by the few, to any kingdom whatsoever, your lives will remain in a state of hell. This does not have to be your fate, as all power lies with our massive numbers, so long as some majority stands against the evil kingdom. As to adopting the ways which the state has provided for remedying the evil, I know not of such ways. They take too much time, and a man's life will be gone unjust laws exist. Most all of them shall we be content to obey them, and obey them until we have succeeded, or shall we transgress them at once. Henry David Thoreau Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.